Hey guys, this is a song I've had a lot of requests for. I taught in guitar, so I thought I'd also teach it with piano. Uh, you can find the chords and the lyrics on AcousticSelection.com under the playlist tab. It's going to use four chords. For the verse, E minor, which start with your E note. I have the C notes marked to make it easier for you to reference. E minor is start with your E and play every other white key. Now notice I'm using my first finger, middle finger, and thumb. If you want, you can use your middle finger, pinky finger that way. The reason I do it this way is a lot of times on E minor I'll play a high E. I mean, a high E. Or a C, high C, and so forth. You don't have to do that. So start out, go to an E minor, then a D, which is a D in every other white key, but put this first finger up a half a step. So you're going to go an E minor to D to a G. That's a G note, every other white key. So it's going to go. You call me out upon the water. So you're going to do two counts E minor, two counts D, four counts G. Again, start out with just your right hand, no left hand until you get more advanced. It goes. You call me out upon the waters. The great unknown. Back to D. Feed me fair. Now C, you play a C in every other white key. Then you're gonna repeat that. There I find you in the mystery. And oceans deep. Faith stand. And then the chorus will go a C. I will G call upon your D name. C. And keep my eyes upon the waves where oceans rise. My soul will rest in your embrace. For I That's the E minor. Again, let them, make sure you have that PDF in front of you when you're first learning. And learn with just your right hand starting out. Um, so again, the verse is E minor, D, G, D, C. Now notice on the E minor, the C, and the G, they're played the exact same every other whole note. And the D is the exact same except you take your first finger up to the sharp. So the beginner chords are very easy for, for someone to learn if you just concentrate and understand the similar patterns. E minor, C, and G. You keep your fingers locked. And then D. And then, um, then what you want to do is add your left hand. In your left hand, you're going to play the exact same chord, but it's going to be like played your bass note. So for an E minor, play your E minor with this hand. It's just an what's called an octave down lower give you a, a full rich sound. So what you would do uh, for a, uh, a pattern like this, play bass, left hand, and right hand together, then just your right hand. So it'll go up. You call me out upon the waters, great unknown, feed me Faith will stand. I will call upon your name. Keep my eyes above the waves where oceans rise. My soul will rest in your embrace. For I am yours. You are you can see the rhythmic pattern I have going there. So now let's quickly go over that bridge, which again is going to be the same chords. Um, so you're going to start E minor. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Me walk upon the waters wherever you will call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. My faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. And you just repeat that same thing. So it's 
E minor for four, C for four, G for four, and D for four. So you can see on so many of my videos, if you learn E minor, C, G, and D, those four chords with guitar or piano, if you learn those, you can play so many songs. Now the next thing before I end this lesson, a lot of people ask me how can I get more advanced with my playing. And a lot of it comes just kind of trial and error because you play these notes within the chord. So for example, if you're playing an E minor, oh, I was off there. So E minor. Instead of just doing every note and every note right hand, every note, try going back and forth. Just with any pattern, as long as you're playing the notes within that chord, it's going to sound okay. And also, like I said earlier in the video, a lot of times I will use my pinky finger and play another full octave up. So this works on, I have big hands, so it's easier for me, it works on stretching your fingers. So you play that C note, and then a high C. G note, high G. D chord, high D, E minor, and so forth. And this gives you a really, so for a C, you see that really full, rich sound. One more tip here before I end this. A lot of times before I go to the next chord, I'll play the middle note and then play it. For example, I will then this note, then call upon your name. And it's tough, especially if you're a beginner, making it sound smooth, but it's I will call upon your name. Keep my eyes above the waves where oceans rise. My soul Let's jump into a quick devotional here. So real quick for this devotional, let's talk about keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus. This, this song talks about you called me out on the waters. It reminds me of that parable in the Gospels when the disciples are out in the water. And they look out and they think they see a ghost. They see Jesus coming at them. And then they realize it's Jesus. And Peter steps up all brave and says, Lord, I want to walk on the water. Let me walk. And Christ says, come on. You want to do greater, thing, greater things than you ever can imagine? You want to walk on water? Come on, because with me all things are possible, the Bible says. So Peter steps out and he begins to walk on that water. But then what does Peter do? He takes his eyes off of Jesus and he starts looking around. He looks at the wind, looks at his surroundings, and says, oh goodness, what am I doing? On his own strength, he says, how am I walking this water? And he starts to sink and he says, Lord, Lord, grab me, grab me, grab me. And don't we do the same thing? We get full of ourselves and we get looking at our surroundings versus what God has done for us and, and the power that God gives us. And we start to rely on our own strength and we begin to sink. And that's where Satan gets a hold of us and the fear sets in. Whereas if we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the path is straight and we can do the impossible. The Bible says in Philippians 4.13, probably one of the most common verses ever quoted, I can do all things. Through Christ strengthens me. It says another part of the Bible, nothing is impossible with God. For with God all things are possible. I want to challenge you today. Are you relying on your own strength or putting your faith and trust in God? Are you stepping out into the unknown on the water and fixing your eyes on Jesus? And Hebrews says, Let's, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher, the perfecter of our faith. That's what I want to challenge you with today. Fix your eyes on Jesus and, and stay straight focused on Him and watch the impossible happen. I'll leave you with a quote my pastor says. That I, this really spoke to me. It says, if dependence is our objective, then weakness is an advantage. If our goal is to depend on God, if dependence is our objective, then our weakness is an advantage. Hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe if you haven't. Love you. God bless you.